Pisces and Scorpio. Hey, Pisces, if you're dealing with the Scorpio, this is going to be your love reading. So let's hop into it. Collect some messages and see how this connection is going. All right, so let's hop into it. Pisces and Scorpio. What is the energy between the connection? Okay, we got the Nine of Cups jumping out, flew all up in my face. So there's a lot of excitement in this connection, a lot of love, a lot of satisfaction here. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, but there is some lack in other areas. The love is cool, but there is lack here. And there needs to be a fresh start on those other areas that need to be tackled here. And we have the Moon. We have the Five of Wands. It's weird how the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands lined up together here. And then we have the Three of Cups. So Pisces and Scorpio, the love part of this relationship is on point. It's undeniable that you satisfied with the way your person loves you, how compassionate they are, how you feel protected in the love area. But there are lacks in other areas uh, outside of love. You know, there's a reality here, right? And you all need to fix and get on the right path in those other areas with the food here. You can start over in those other areas that you're lacking in because love is the binding force, right? Right. So with the moon showing up, it's like you all need to get on the same path physically. You know, you're on the same path emotionally, but physically you all need to get on the same path. And, and that's like, um, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to clarify that moon, but we move over here to the five of wands. So it may be a lot of competition, it may be a lot of fights physically and you all need to get on the same accord so you all can rejoice and enjoy each other. Right. So Pisces and Scorpio, let's hop into it. Let's see. Why are you so satisfied? Why is the love part of this relationship so great? Because the love is being expressed. The love is understood and the love is given right from both parties. King of Cups. This is it's, it's no denying that you all love each other, right? But sometimes love isn't enough because there's a lot of lack here. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of chaos going on. Like, okay, when we together, when it's us, you know, we know we love each other, but we still have issues that we need to resolve, right? So let's see what's lacking in this connection. Where's What is the lack here? What's lacking in this connection? And we have... The Knight of Pentacles. So it's like things, it's financial issues. Things that need to be taken care of around the house or in the physical realm. And, so, and it's just like somebody taking a sweet time to get the job done. Somebody wants to be a perfectionist. Somebody wants something perfect. Somebody's not making a move on anything until they're absolutely sure it's going to work out in their favor. Well, sometimes you don't get to know that. You know, sometimes you have to take a chance. This this Knight of Pentacles is here. It says time to start taking action on whatever uh, financial situations you're lacking on, you know, so you can have a fresh start. You know, because too much lack, too much worries ends to ends up in chaos. And I think that's simply why the five and the uh the five of pentacles and the five of wands is lined up like that to equal ten to let you know that this is the end of something and you can recreate something else. So love is the binding force. Love cures everything just about. Right? It ain't enough, but it's it's enough to hang in there and it's enough to make you want to fight for something so you might be lacking in the financial department and somebody's just taking their sweet time to handle the business because they want to make sure that it's going to work out they want to make sure that everything is good before they start investing their coins but now is the time to take action because if you keep letting the lack go you know, when you take action, it's five turns into the six of pentacles, which means you're able to give to your partner. You're able to show your partner that you're there to secure them, to protect them and, you know, to love them all of the above. But if you still take your time and not take action on it, it the lack becomes more chaotic. You know, you just get deeper and deeper into whatever the problem is. So this is just like a warning to, to take action on the things that need to be handled in you guys' physical realm. You know, you can't just survive off of love 
in this physical reality, right? So take the necessary steps, take action, and, and start this new journey of fixing the physical realm of your love life, okay? So what is this fool? It's the two of pentacles, right? So you have to bring it into, to, uh, you got to bring your physical reality into balance because it's, effect, it's affecting the, the happiness of the relationship, the enjoyment of the relationship. In the love department, everything is great, but in the physical part, department, there are challenges and you guys got to come together and bring it into balance so you all can move forward on a healthy journey. And then we have this moon that I couldn't figure out. I know you all need to get on the same path. Now, I know that I know you all want the same thing and you got to figure out how to get on the same path. So let's see, why is this moon here? And it comes with the five of cups. So a reality didn't hit. A financial reality didn't hit and somebody disappointed in the choices that they made. But like I said, see, the love is still there. The bond is still there. But love isn't always enough to, to exist in this physical reality. Sometimes you have to get in that pinnacle energy and really take action on uh, stabilizing your reality. So I feel like somebody feels like the, the, okay, when we snap up out of the love, we have to come to a reality and the reality is disappointment, right? Because love just simply ain't enough. It's shit we got to do, right? So I'm getting worried here. I'm in fear that we may lose something. Maybe it's a house, maybe it's a car, maybe it's a job, but there's a sense of fear here of losing something that means something, right? So it's like time to get that physical part together. Let's see what is this five of pentacles. I mean, there's five of wands and it comes with the hangman, right? To be enlightened. View things from your personal perspective. Let your person view things from your perspective, right? That will kill the chaos. That will kill the chaos. You all have to have a logical conversation. You all can't just think being in love and making love is everything to a relationship. No, there's a physical aspect of this relationship that you all need to be enlightened to. And you all need to view things from each other's perspective. That's the way to get this joyous moment where you can rejoice and start to enjoy each other instead of arguing or beefing with each other about the responsibility that needs to happen around the house or with the car or what whatever right so it's really all about just coming together having that conversation viewing things from uh your person's perspective and getting on the right track with each other so you all can live in a more holy matrimony let's see what is this three of Pentacles. I mean, it's three of cups and it's the page of pentacles. It's all about taking that physical responsibility. It's all about taking the physical responsibility. It's all about being able to depend on your person to be responsible, to be a protector, to be a provider. And that goes both ways. So the relationship is good. We know that there's love there. We know that there's lack there. Love is the binding force. If you love each other enough, you're going to start to take action on things that make you all happy and things that can balance out the physical reality of the relationship. You all get to have a fresh start, but you can't be afraid to make decisions decisions here you all want the same thing you all are looking for the same thing but you may be a little bit disappointed about the choices you made thus far so there has to be an enlightenment here there has to be some form of awakening to that if we don't get our physical aspect or we don't get our house in order if we don't get this car fixed if we don't do certain things in the physical existence we know that if there's going to be chaos and conflict within our uh, relationship because we're not going to be as happy as we used to be so we need to sit down, have a conversation. I need to view things from your perspective. You need to view things from my perspective so we can get on one accord and start enjoying life with each other. We need to take responsibility over our actions and we need to take responsibility over our physical existence, which is our household, our cars and our children and whatever else. We have to take responsibility over the things that we want to see prosper, right? So let's see what's crossing the energy. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Get grounded, right? Get grounded. Get your money up. Do what you got to do. So you can enjoy each other. Because the Ten of Pentacles is all uh, it's about in, it being grounded and enjoying your family. Enjoying the small things in life. And, and basically being able to chill. 
being able to chill and everything you put out, you get back tenfold. So if you all start taking responsibility on your financial issues or your physical issues and stop just being drowned and drained out by the love and the sex, you know, you all can really have a strong connection that will be prosperous and fruitful in the future. It's all about balancing out this uh, relationship balancing out the love and balancing out the physical I can't give too much of love and not enough physical I can't give too much of physical and not enough love so there needs to be balance within this relationship and I feel like everything is going to work out just fine all right Pisces and Scorpio let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day all right, let's hop into it. All right. And we have um, the fourth chakra, and this is the heart chakra. And this one is relevant to radiate warmth and uh, sincerity. Okay. I am open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. A smile, a kind-hearted way of speaking, or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. I nurture and respect my relationship. So radiate warmth and sincerity. Just be real with each other. If we got real life issues, let's address them. And that's just period. So radiate warmth and security is our positive. Sincerity is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. Pisces and Scorpio, this is all I have. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.